and I was like, Undertaker versus Undertaker, but better. Mm -hmm. And kind of like gave him the major story points, uh, and it was just week by week we were just working on the minutia of the, the little details, and then they. Basically, Caliban and Zacco and the others were like, okay, this is who it's going to be. I didn't even know who it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Like, half the fun is being able to guess at that kind of stuff. Kind of like what uh, what the ghost was for Flashbang. Like, even Connor was convinced that it was him. Like, Connor had no idea about anything that was going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. That's why he started showing up. He thought he was, uh... He thought he was being hinted at and, like, drawn back into the show. Like, he Connor started watching like... randomly. And he saw... everyone just kept mentioning him. Uh-huh. And he had no idea that Lucius was going to show up at Multivania. I mean, some of the best moments have been because I've said either to Bosco or I've said to Caliban, hey, I've got an idea. Mm -hmm. Like, enter, stun, or leave? That was me saying to Bosco. And Bosco was like, you do know I'm going to have to do something about this afterwards. And I'm like, oh yeah, I know. Go for it. Like, the shit posting is real. Like, the shit posting is half the fun whenever it comes to MW. Mm -hmm. Where it's going to be going next? It's, uh. I know kind of the major story points next mm -hmm. for what's going to be happening with Sawyer, but. It, I wanted to kind of give him a bit of a break since, you know, everything has been happening lately. Yeah. Plus, with how active Sawyer was for the longest period of time, it's good to take a break every so often. Mm-hmm. Like, one of my favorite parts whenever, uh, like, playing the character that I play, I love to, like, go on the shelf for a while. And just say nothing, do nothing, and just let let the conspiracy theorists just go haywire, and let that paranoia just eat at people until the until the debut happens. Yep. Because if you can build a character right, especially a villain. And you go quiet for a while, people will start wondering. It's almost like when you're a parent and you have the sudden realization that things are quiet. Which is not good news. Mm hmm. Because when you're a parent and it's too quiet for too long, that that dread just starts dawning on you. I will say that in Season 1, Wes has had some very interesting character development. Like, we learned a lot of lore about the Earl King West character. Like, we learned that before he was, uh, you know, the king of the wild hunt, he was a war god. And then he was a man. 
a man that was event a man that eventually became a war god and then eventually became a fae. Yeah, so sort of Kratos ish. Mm hmm. Ah, we got another redeem. Yep. I tell you what, the the trinkets are are very popular on this channel. I'm happy that people like them. Now, if only I can have a like a, a preloaded bot in the chat that would just do this when you redeem a channel point. Well, zombie, that's a big rip. You know, I'm hell of a, I'm hella excited, because fingers crossed, uh, we've got. Um, not only do we have Warzone tomorrow, we've also got uh, Roll with Me tomorrow. Mhm. Mm yeah, I gotta try and get my body clock in time for Warzone. Mhm. Mm I'm so used to it being like a Saturday night. It's like I'm having to like readjust for the Mondays. Yeah. I feel that. But hey, it gives uh it gives Bosco an opportunity to uh have a a safe day that he can work with. Mm-hmm. Like, he used to have to work, uh, you know, do this kind of stuff on Sundays. This match is brutal. Don't work tomorrow? Nice, Chocolate Zombie. They're very situational and you can look at them from different angles. Very true. 